Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to another episode. Today we are talking all about jogging strollers. I have been using this stroller for quite some time, bringing my little guy out on my training runs with me, and I want to share my seven top tips starting out with a jogging stroller. Let's dive right into it. Tip number one is all about the equipment. I spend a lot of time researching equipment from, you know, whether it's shoes or whatever it might be, and jogging strollers was no different. There are a lot of great strollers. For me and my needs, I landed on the Thule Urban Glide 2. It is a single passenger, single infant kid stroller. They do make a double if that's what you might need. Some of the things that really set this one apart for me was the sunshade. It would open up and have more breathability and have an extra little kick out for, for low light when the sun's really low. It also had great suspension. Even though we live in an area that has very smooth trails, those road crossings or whatever, if the child falls asleep, the last thing you wanna do is wake him up due to you know real bouncy or rough trails. The safety stuff, the ergonomics, the straps were a huge selling point for us. So just to have very comfortable straps, you know, high safety rating for us was a must. Like I think that would rank obviously probably at the highest of the list. So you want him to be safe, him or her, your child, uh, to be safe and comfortable. These are all a lot of things to think about. He's going to spend a lot of time in there. For us, I know we have logged several hundred miles on our stroller. I wish I would have actually had a, a good tally, but I know it's definitely in the several hundred miles. And then another thing to think about some of the add-ons that the strollers have. A rain cover for us was very important, as well as a little snap-on tray that you can put a drink holder and hold snacks and different things too. There are a couple pockets on the inside. He doesn't really seem to use them quite yet. He's only 18 months. He might as he gets older and it has a nice crossbar. He loves to just put his hands up on that and look around. So that is the stroller that we ended up on. There's some other great ones. This is not a review of that, but more of just jogging strollers in general. Other items and equipment that you might want to think about, these are all going to be more baby items or child. So a hat, sunglasses, uh, maybe a bunting suit or like a some kind of or blanket uh, type thing obviously it's blazing hot right now but in the winter months it worked out great for us and then some sunscreen too in the summer um, even with that nice canopy and sunshade those legs are going to be sticking out so you're going to want to put some sunscreen or something on those in the summer months and that takes us into tip number two is be flexible you know this is about spending good quality time with your children or child and the run should be geared around them. The time of the run really needs to be geared around them and really suit them and not you. Maybe you like to run in the afternoon, but maybe the conditions are better suited to take a stroller out in the morning. So it really needs to be flexible and just think about the overall situation. Ditch structure is the next thing in this be flexible. So you might have to start and stop. You might have to pick up something for them that you distract them. You might have to stop and let them get out and explore around, you know, if if some temper tantrums or, you know, unsettled in this in the stroller. So really think about just being flexible, just have fun. Structure will be able to come and more solid runs will come. The first few runs and handful of runs, you really need to think about making them, putting them at ease and, and enjoying the, the time in the stroller. That takes us into tip number three, start slow. When we first started, we were really just walking in it, taking our walks. Uh, so we would do our workouts kind of on our own and then come back and just lightly walk it. So that way, if we did need to stop or do something and we were never too far from home. So starting slow was very helpful. And then when we did start running, you know, it was that 15 to 20 minutes and then slowly build up from there. An another good way to think about starting slow uh, for them, if you do have a longer run planned, it's maybe start with the stroller or finish with the stroller and do the, the majority of your run solo. You know, that would worked out really well. He would stay with my wife at home. I would run, I'd come back and we'd, we'd be able to finish up that way or, we, you know, vice versa, she would do the same thing as well. He'd still put some structure in and then just kind of the, the cool down, the warm up, whatever, how, however that structure works out for you. That takes us to tip number four, 
thinking about the route and time of day of the run. I never like to be too far from home or if we went to a park or something like that from too far from the car. Just you always want to think about being able to get them back to a safe space or warm, cool, dry, whatever it needs to be if that's environmental or if they just are not having it. You just want to be able to get them out and, and calm them and, and kind of attend to their needs. I like to do loops that way I'm never too far. Sometimes an out and back, you know, you're at some point you'll be at the furthest point away and you'll never be able to get back. You always want to think about maybe shortcuts, turn the route much shorter than need be, um, however that works out. And then the time of day, uh, depending on the time of year also and the climate that you're experiencing, um, you might want to run in the warmer or cooler uh, parts of the day. You know, obviously it's blazing hot right now, so getting those early morning runs in in the stroller work out great work out really, really well before it gets too hot for them. Thinking about where you're running in terms of low traffic, you are gonna wanna have a little bit lower traffic area, obviously, safety first, right? We have some excellent trails here, so we do like to think about things that, something that he can look at, you know, if, if it's trees or wildlife or other walkers, joggers, and cyclists, he loves to wave and say hello and look at puppies and things. So we like to incorporate that into our run and obviously trying to avoid cars as much as possible. Uh, be creative with your route. That way you can have some fun, maybe run to a park or end at a park, something like that. That's always a nice uh, feature in the run. If you're going to, you know, if it's a destination run and you can have someone drive you back or if it's, if it's not too far or run around the park. Also with the time of day and route selection, um, when it is really nice, we like to think about shade as well. So just th throwing all that in there, you know, cooler, warmer, shade, wind, these are all different factors that we like to think about when we're mapping out our routes. That takes us into tip number five, the type of run. This one's pretty easy, no workouts no intervals and doing these different things. Um, you really wanna just kind of run, put them on your easy days, put them on your recovery days. That's gonna be the absolute best. Pace is nice and easy and chill. They're gonna not have those real brash uh, accelerations and decelerations, feeling all that through the stroller. So really nice, easy. And you know, when they become more comfortable, you can build pace up a little bit, but just nice and steady. So steady is the main thing where pace is kind of that constant steady pace. As long as the stroller is nice, like this, one of the reasons why we ended up with this one, uh, wheels are nice. And oh, this was another feature that I really forgot to talk about in equipment is that you can lock the front wheel. That way you don't get a uh, speed wobble, which does happen at a low speed, like pretty much as soon as you start jogging, it's going to get a little bit of wobble and then something that you can unlock uh, for walking and you can navigate very well uh, and then that way when it when jogging it's locked in one position it will push and you know make gradual turns and you get really used to that even making a little bit tighter turn you slow down and kind of lift that front wheel a little bit and it'll it'll make the corner so that is a very important feature for us in the jogging stroller. Another thing to think about in the type of run is, now this is for more experienced, you know they enjoy it, you know they like it, is an organized run or even a race, as long as the race organizer allows strollers on the course. Now I know I said no workouts, but if you really think about just running it, you know, scratch the PR, just going out to have fun, there's so many people and things to look at and you know, announcers and music, it can be a lot of great distractions and a lot of fun for the little one as well as you. So it's a good way to bring them and incorporate them into your running and you know they're gonna be able to celebrate you and cheer you on. So it's, it's a lot of fun and I know our little guy enjoys it. Tip number six, running form. You want to consider running with this stroller, one with a nice adjustable handle, like this, this one also has that. My wife's shorter than I am, so we can both run and feel comfortable and not just be locked into a rigid position. So think about a light hand on the stroller and then instead of pushing from a locked out arm. So a nice light hand, soft grip, uh, a nice bend in the elbow so you're not driving the stroller with the arm, but rather through the core and just through the nice running gait. Once you kind of build up momentum, it's going to just roll nice and easy with a nice gentle push from the end of the hand, but driving through the lower body instead of just that 
push and, and hunching over. You don't, you still want to maintain good posture, nice upright, tall running position, instead of like hunched over and really leaning on it. You, you're going to want to let it kind of glide on its own. Another good thing to think about in the running form is to swing with one arm and rest hand on stroller with the other and alternate. I don't have a set time. You're just going to figure out what works well for you. If, if it's every couple minutes, if it's every mile or whatever you need to do, you'll figure out what works well for you. And this takes us into tip number seven, bring snacks. I like to eat. My boy likes to eat. So I like to bring snacks. Uh, not, just kind of joking aside, um, think about what you might need to bring. Um, so obviously food, water, and the different things. I like to think about this as like high value snacks, high value treats, or even toys, maybe a stroller specific toy that you leave there in the stroller. In those first few handful of runs, when you're really trying to build up this routine and this enjoyment, it might be new and it might be kind of standoffish at first. If you can entice with a nice treat, toy, snack, whatever it is, drink. Think about that as a, a nice way to encourage them to enjoy the stroller. That's why we like to bring the one, even though we just use water, like he loves to drink out of like adult cycling water bottle. So we'll just put it in that because he loves that. So we kind of, that's a treat for him to, to be able to, to do it that way. I'm not a huge fan of letting him eat in the stroller just because I'm kind of picky on all the crumbs and stuff that gets in there. I have done it on a longer run, but that's something I like to just think about drinks and toys rather. So keep sharp eyes because the toys will get ejected um, quickly. Other things to think about, uh, like I said, the blankets and the bunting suit, depending on uh, if that's cold weather, a tip for the the bonus tip, bonus tip, uh, a tip for the blanket in the cold months is we like to toss that in the dryer while we're getting ready. You know, just let it tumble dry for a little bit and then wrap him in the blanket, put the rain cover on, it's clear so he can still see through it. And it is going to be very nice and toasty in there for them while you're out running. I like to also play music from my phone, just nice kind of uh, not too loud, just music that he likes. He loves dancing and just bopping around to music. So we like to bring that along as well. And so that kind of wraps up all of my tips, my seven top tips with the bonus tip for the blanket. So that one's a freebie for you guys. And I just want to say thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you found this to be useful, go ahead and consider clicking that subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it. Let me know that that really does help out. I know this YouTube algorithm thing is hard to figure out. Go ahead and click the bell icon too. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. Things to come on the channel, we will be talking about the A6 Nova Blast 2 as well as the Stride Foot Pod and their training plans as I train for this half marathon coming up in October with a goal time of 117. So I'm hopeful, I'm excited. And again, thank you so much for staying tuned. As always, go forward in power, love, and a sound mind, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.